Your Singer Studio Embroidery Machine has 55 ready-to-sew built-in designs. In this chapter, we'll show you how to select a built-in design for embroidery and how to check design placement. We'll also explain how to change a bobbin during embroidery and how to advance forward and backward through a design should you experience a thread break during embroidery. Turn the machine on using the power switch. After a few seconds, the light will come on and the LCD will momentarily show two icons, which indicate that you should not insert a USB stick or switch off the power until the machine has fully booted. Then the embroidery arm will calibrate to ensure it's in home position. When the machine is fully booted, the first of several screens with built-in embroidery design selections will display. The designs display four at a time. To view more of the 55 built-in designs, press the Page Forward button to scroll through the screens. Continue pressing the Page Forward or Page Back buttons until you find the design you want to stitch. Press the icon for the design you want to embroider. Let's select design number 40, which is the truck. When you press the selected design icon, the Ready to Sew screen appears. You will see an image of the design, as well as other information such as the sewing time in minutes, the number of thread colors required, and the size of the design and recommended hoop size. For more information about the sewing order of the thread colors, press the spool icon. The color list screen opens, showing the order in which the colors are to be stitched. Four colors at a time are displayed, so if your design has more colors, press the Page Forward button to view more in the list. Press the Exit button to close and return to the previous display. By pressing the Page Forward button again, you can view the individual elements of your selected design. You will also see how much time remains for sewing the entire design, the color's sequence placement, and the name and number of the thread color based on your machine settings. When you have scrolled through all the colors, press the Page Forward button one more time and you will once again reach the Ready to Sew screen. For more details on machine thread settings, consult your instruction manual for information on using the Set menus. Thread the bobbin and the top of the machine. For details on threading, see Chapter 2 of this video. Next, hoop the fabric. Once the fabric is properly and securely hooped, place the hoop onto the carriage. For details on how to properly hoop the fabric, see Chapter 5 of this video. Embroider the design. When the design is finished, remove the hoop from the carriage. Remove the fabric from the hoop. Trim any jump stitches with a fine point scissor and then carefully remove excess stabilizer. You can check the sewing position of the design on your fabric before you even begin. The trace design function of the machine allows you to view the placement of the design relative to the hoop so you can preview where the design will sew. With the presser foot raised, press the tracing button. This will cause the hoop to move, tracing the outline of your selected design. If you are not happy with the design placement, you can rehoop the fabric or you can press the Edit button and then use the Hoop Positioning buttons to move the design within the hoop on the LCD screen. Press OK to confirm the change. Now, press the Tracing button again to check placement. If you are satisfied with the placement, you are now ready to embroider the design. To begin stitching, Lower the presser foot and press the Start-Stop button. If you press the Start-Stop button without lowering the presser foot, the LCD screen will display a message prompting you to do so. 
This feature of your machine helps ensure that you have proper thread tension for your embroidery designs. After sewing several stitches, press the Start Stop button to stop the machine. Trim the thread and then press the Start Stop button again. The machine will sew the first color from the color list and stop automatically when it is finished with that color. Change the thread to the next color and start the machine again to continue. When the design is finished, remove the hoop from the carriage. Remove the fabric from the hoop. Trim any jump stitches with a fine point scissor and then carefully remove excess stabilizer. Though it is a good idea to make sure you begin embroidery with a full bobbin, on occasion your bobbin may run out of thread before your design is completed. Remove the hoop from the carriage, but do not remove the fabric from the hoop. Rewind and replace the bobbin. Reattach the hoop to the carriage. On occasion, you may experience a thread break during embroidery. This could be due to a weak spot in the thread, using poor quality thread, or possibly a worn out or damaged needle. It will be necessary to re-thread the machine and return the needle to the correct position to resume embroidery. To do this, raise the presser foot lifter. Check the upper thread to make sure it is feeding smoothly off the spool. Rethread the needle. If the carriage position makes threading the needle difficult, move the hoop for easier threading by pressing the home position button. After rethreading the needle, press the home position button again to return the carriage to the previous position.